Okay, so I just finished watching Dasha Faith's testimony video and I just wanted to come on here and share with you because I commented and every comment I leave, I try to get inspiration from God because I don't just want to be saying any old thing to any old body because this is like serious. You speaking to people's lives, saying things, stuff like that. Like we're going to give account of every word that we have spoken. So I'm like, or, <laughs> or written. So I just want to make sure that I'm saying what I need to say. But anyway, it was like, as I was, type into him god had me to write that he's not done with you yet and it's almost like he was showing me just for all of us in our lives that we live we're born and then we all die and then it's like on a tombstone on every single person's tombstone it has a year that they're born the year that they die and what's right there in the middle a little dash right <laughs> that's how god is like he was just saying like that dash right there, it spells out everything that you did in your life. That's it. You have that little dash, that little bit of time to make an impact on the world. And that was just mind blowing to me because Dash of Faith is sharing his testimony. Some people are sharing their testimonies. Um, Dodash, Latoya, she's sharing her testimony. Tawana Nicole shares her testimony. So many people are sharing their testimonies, but it's like God is not even finished yet. Like people are going through right now. It's like you're born and then you have all of these experiences in the middle that you're going through and God is bringing you through. And then we have a year at the end, you know, and for those of us who are saved, we go to be with the Lord. But we just have to know that we got to make a choice. Either we're going to have a faith-filled life or a life filled with doubt. And it's like that dash of faith. It's like he was saying to me, like, that dash, you got to determine, is it going to be a dash of faith, like a faith-filled life? Or is that dash going to mean that you had a doubt-filled life? Like, we got to choose. He's not going to choose for us what we're going to believe now people can have experiences that are similar but as you're going through people can continue to stay in doubt and not believe or they can have faith and believe that god's going to do everything that he said he's going to do yeah so it's up to us to decide how we're going to it's up to us to decide what we're going to believe and god's word says that he came to give us life and life more abundantly so at the end of everything, God is going to give us what he said he's going to give us. Everything he promised to give us, he's going to give it to us. But it's up to us, like as we're going through, are we going to stay in faith? Or are we going to just fall off and then just start doing our own thing? Or are we going to continue to hold on and wait and wait and wait until we see the promise of God come to pass in our lives? So it's just up to us. But I'm just so grateful for this whole community and just what God is doing. This is amazing. <laughs> Um, how he's just working through so many people on YouTube. And this whole movement right here, like Dash of Faith always says, it started with um, Dodash. It started with God giving her an instruction, she following it, being obedient, and then so many other things uh, came out of that. So we got to be obedient because we don't know who we're going to impact, who we're going to help, who we're going to bless, who we're going to encourage, you know? And um, yeah, at the end, just know and believe and have faith that at the end of it all, we're going to see that light. We're going to have that abundant life. We're going to have those promises, those precious promises that the Lord Jesus Christ has made to us. So um, I hope this video has blessed you, encouraged you to continue on and to continue to stay in faith. Most importantly, to fight the good fight of faith. You know, that's what the enemy is after. He's not after your house. He's not after your car. He's not after your marriage. He is after your faith in God. He uses all those things to try to wear you out so that you can leave God, leave the faith, and just say, I just, I'll be better off just doing it on my own. Yeah. So I just pray that you will stay encouraged and stay in faith in Jesus' name. God bless you. Take care. Bye.